right, so now we're going to get it in that completed square form, but then we're also going to solve it after that. So the same steps as the last couple problems, but now we've got to solve to find the final answer. So the x squared plus 4x plus 14 equals 0. I kind of prefer the first method that I usually show you, but if you like that other one, go ahead and use it. So x plus half of the 4 is a 2. And if I look at this problem right now, I've got a 4 right here if I multiplied or squared the 2. So if you did the x plus 2 times x plus 2, x times x, you'd have your x squared, 2x and 2x, I'd have my 4x that I need, but I also have this 2 times 2 or a 4. So that's the 4 I'm talking about. My x squared's good, I needed that. My 4x is good, I needed that. But I've got a 4 here if I leave it in this form, and I'm supposed to have 14. So I would say then I'm going to add 10 out here to keep it in equivalent to the original problem. Then subtract 10 to the other side. Then square root both sides. Don't forget your plus or minus. So I've got x plus 2 equals a positive or negative square root of negative 10. Subtract 2 over to this side. The square root of the negative 1, because this, this is like the square root of negative 1 times 10. So that square root of negative 1 gets out as an i, and the square root of 10 for my two answers there. So I'd have negative 2 minus i square root of 10 for one answer and a negative 2 plus i square root of 10 for the second answer. Should get everything the same using the other method. Unless I made a mistake, that's always a possibility. But how does the other method go? x squared plus 4x, I'm going to already move the 14 to the other side. So I've already done that step. Now x plus half of 4, 2 squared. But I've increased a 4 that wasn't there, so I need to add a 4 to the other side. Negative 14 plus 4, negative 10. So I've got x plus 2 quantity squared equals a negative 10. Square root, both sides get rid of the square giving me x plus 2 on the left. The square root undid the square equals the positive or negative. Remember, square root of the negative, that's like a square root of negative 1 times 10. Some people will even break it down to show it like this so that you see that i times the square root of 10 there. And then last but not least, subtract that 2 over right there. And we've got the same two solutions. So that's how you use completing the square to solve a quadratic um, for problem 2.5.30 on the Algebra 2 Math Excel homework.